Hello everyone, good morning, welcome to this lecture on Ngrams and smoothing in NLP. So in this lecture we are going to start with uh, uh, different types of Ngrams. You will be able to understand what is Ngram and why do we use this in natural language processing and also the purpose of uh, smoothing uh, and uh, all its uh, type also you will be able to understand this lecture. So first let's see what is an n-gram n-gram is a, a contiguous sequence of words or uh, phrases uh, uh, or sentences uh, which are extracted from a given text in the corpus and uh, we will use this uh, in the natural language processing uh, depending upon the application for example maybe in nlp uh, when you apply nlp in na language translation or uh, speech recognition text uh, text classification task will use this technique even in, uh, information extraction you may focus on extracting a word or extracting a phrase so extracting a sequence of four words right so we'll uh, focus on a particular uh, type of uh, word sequences right so we have to apply this uh, n-gram we have to generate n-grams from the given text so there are three types um, of n-grams so unigram generates a single word and uh, bigrams uh, are uh, a sequence of two words so we extract a combination of uh, words to containing two words uh, from a sequence and then uh, trigram is a sequence of three words similarly we can also generate a, a combination of multiple words so let's see an example for this uh, given this sentence i love programming so from this uh, we generate individual words i love programming so so this is one grams right and then for two grams we combine two words i love and then love programming right these two words are combined for three grams uh, we combine three words i love programming so all these three words are combined uh, to form this uh, uh, three gram now let's discuss applications of n grams so we have application of this in language modeling if you want to predict uh, if you want to design a system that predicts uh, the next word in a sequence you can generate n grams and uh, you can also apply this to capture the context contextual information from a sequence uh, for text classification task uh, we can extract features to classify the text so the extraction of features may be from n-gram features and in machine translation we can translate text or phrases uh, uh, by analyzing a sequence of words and then it translates to the target representation now let's discuss uh, what is smoothing and why why we go for this what are the types of smoothing technique so smoothing is basically used to uh, deal with the uh, data sparsity issue in natural language processing when you are working with large amount of data there may be many unseen words in the uh, training process so you, you have to deal with the unseen words so many zero values will be there so to handle the data sparsity issue we uh, we apply a mechanism to add one for example to all counts of words in the text so we can add uh, one um, to the counts of all features uh, so that it will remove the zero values in the on data um, sparse matrix so we can also capture the context of n grams and uh, applying this um, smoothing technique you can handle uh, the unseen words uh, in the training process and so if it was not seen during the training then we uh, we have to deal with this uh, problem by applying this smoothing technique either uh, additive smoothing good during smoothing or laser uh, nice smoothing technique so uh, when a model encounters n grams that was not seen earlier so we have to assign a probability of zero usually so if you have many zero values like this for unseen features then 
the performance of model may decrease or uh, the generation performance will decrease so in order to increase the, uh, improve the performance of uh, model the relation performance of model so we apply the smoothing technique we assign a small non-zero value non-zero probability value to unseen and grams so there are the three types of uh, smoothing techniques uh, uh, we are going to discuss these three only in this lecture so uh, additive smoothing is a, a simple technique where we add uh, a constant to all the counts of uh, uh, features uh, and it answers that there is no pro zero probability to the uh, features uh, and good tiering smoothing we estimate the probability of unseen events based on the frequency of uh, observed uh, counts observed events or observed words so in this knee smoothing technique uh, we apply advanced mechanism we'll discuss now and it has been proposed by uh, reinhard nizer and uh, heman in 1995 so this approach addresses the issue of assigning zero probability to unseen words uh, language model so it involves two steps first we apply discounting um, uh, it uh, reduces the probability of probability mass of uh, observed n grams to allocate some probability mass to uh, unseen words or n grams so now to do this we subtract uh, it's it subtracts a uh, uh, discount factor from the counts of n grams and then to handle the to handle rare grams more effectively it counts the number of distinct contexts in which an n-gram appears so analyzing these things uh, uh, it can handle the unseen words more effectively uh, let's implement n-gram now first we have to import n-grams uh, library from nltj package and then we also import word organizer from my LTG to organize module and then we consider one simple sentence I love programming in Python first we generate tokens from this sentence tokens are words and then we are going to generate a one gram that contains only one word individual words of and extract from this uh, question so we generate a list of uh, one words uh, we print that and then we generate a list of two words combination and we are printing the result then we generate tri trigrams uh, uh, three grams that combines uh, three words as a single unit so we print the result so this is output of that program now we will discuss lap laplace smoothing technique for a simple uh, bigram model so in this technique we are going to add uh, one to all counts of observed n-grams and also we have to add the total number of possible n-grams to the denominator so we have to find the count of one word and size of vocabulary we have to add that in the denominator so let's see how to do that first let's consider a simple example we, we create a corpus and that contains four and uh, three sentences uh, sorry it contains uh, three sentences separate four sentences separate way comma and then we tokenize uh, the corpus uh, we generate uh, words uh, from the sentences of that corpus we generate tokenized corpus and then we create bigrams we have to add all those bigrams to this variable then we are going to count the frequency of bigrams by using the counter module uh, counter library uh, feature so we are going to count the bigrams then we use set data structure to identify unique words uh, from the tokenist corpus for each word and sentence it interface whether it is a unique word so we are getting the unique words this vocabulary uh, variable so then we calculate the length of the vocabulary it gives vocabulary size 
uh, and also we have to find the, the total number of bigrams so we use some function for that you should pass bigram frequency values uh, to find the sum so taking this bigram frequency we are going to find the sum it, it gives total number of bigrams finally we are printing the total number of bigrams and the uh, power precise uh, so all these are uh, bigrams generated from the corpus and the total vector precise size is 9. Now we are going to apply the Laplace smoothing technique uh, to adjust the probability so that uh, the sparseness of the uh, data set can be reduced. So if a bigram does not exist in the training data then it is considered sunscreen data it has to be uh, Result so we assign a small probability value to that we apply this formula for given two words for w1 w2 so what we are going to do uh, we are going to count uh, the number of bigrams we have to add plus one to it because if there is no bigram uh, then that case it not be zero so we have to add one to it so the count even if the count is zero so it can manipulate the data by adding uh, probability a small probability value to the unseen words uh, so in the denominator we are going to add count of one word and uh, and uh, property size let's see an example for this and uh, python code also so we are going to pass python um, we are going to pass uh, in this python code uh, uh, we pass uh, four parameters uh, bigram frequency or probably size total bigrams and the bigram so we first split the given words into bigrams sorry the bigram is split into words uh, so we are getting two words so upon word one word two because we have to count the frequency of these words right so we split the bigram into words so first you are finding the count of the bigram and then we are finding the count of the first word in the bigram now we have to apply laplace smoothing formula so to find out the smooth probability value we are going to add one to the bigram count and in the denominator we are going to add the count of one words plus the vacuum size then we return the smooth probability for example uh, to test this if you pass this bigram we get word one uh, as i and word two as i allow so we check how many times i appears in the um, corpus and uh, also how many times this word love appears in the corpus and also combination of this how many times bigram how many times appears in the corpus we are going to count and then you should substitute the value in the formula So, for example, this I appears uh, three times uh, as the first word in bigrams, and uh, this bigram I love appears two times in the corpus. So, we also calculate the vocabulary size. Vocabulary size is uh, nine because we have nine unique words in the data set. So, if you substitute with these values, we get uh, 3 plus 1 divided by sorry 2 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 9 so it gives 0 0.28 so that's a smooth probability value now we have some uh, multiple choice questions uh, now please find out the answer for this so the first question is what is an n-gram in natural language processing whether it's a type of uh, machine learning model used to us independent analysis or it's a sequence of n consecutive words or phrases items from a given simple text or a given speech text or a normal text so we are it is a technique used in future selection or it's a data structure used for 
storing words in a language model so which one is the right option yes option 2 is the right one so a sequence of ngram is a sequence of consecutive items so the items can be words phrases or sentences from a given text so option, option b is the right answer the next question which of the following is a is the primary goal of a smoothing in ngram model so the primary goal of uh, smoothing in ngram is to address the data sparsity issue and it tries to improve the performance of uh, model generation performance of model option b is the right answer the next question is which smoothing technique assigns a small probability to unseen ngrams by adding a constant value one to each count count of each feature so the option three is the right answer additive lap smoothing this one additive smoothing adds adds constant one to each count of the features so that's all in this lecture so in this lecture you have understood what is n grams what are the types of n grams why do we generate n grams for uh, various applications like uh, language modeling or text classification and uh, also topic modeling and other tasks uh, so you have also understood what is smoothing why do you use this to handle uh, data spast issue in natural language processing so thank you all